Right, welcome back to the Borderlands DLC. I have made the crossover to playthrough two, which you now things were a little bit too easy. I figured it might be a little bit more interesting if, if things were a little bit more difficult. Pretty much got back to the point where we would have been at anyway, so <clears throat> really no harm, no foul in that regard. So basically, pretty much going to take off where we left off, just on something a little bit harder, which you know is. It's, it makes things a little bit more interesting, I'd say. It, it makes things a little bit more fun. Oh, sweet skags. My, my favorite... My favorite enemy ever. The skag. Especially when they blow up into like a billion different fucking... Things of loot. Bro, these things are still giving like super de duper no experience. Even though I am fairly sure we're on playthrough 2. Inside, obviously went and uh, when tried to switch it up a little bit. I mean, this this one's got a little bit of recoil, isn't it? Whole eleven experience there. Now, something I always felt odd about this game, just the progression and just never felt is, I guess, is uh, is solid. I know someone's shooting me. It's solid as Fallout 3. I know people say, oh, you can't compare this game to Fallout 3 and you know, other stuff like that, but you know, if you have a game with some similarities, then people are always going to compare them. Like, you really can't compare Modern Warfare 2 to, you know, uh, Medal of Honor or Battlefield, and yet people still do all the time, so... I think you can to some extent, but games shouldn't be solely judged off of others. That's pretty much my stance. Where the hell is this? Where's this claptrap thing? Holy shit, dude. That does not want to tie. There we go. Now this thing's gonna come up and, and rape a little bit. So where is this thing that I'm looking for? It's... I know I'm getting shot and all that fun stuff, but I'm on a mission to find the holy claptrap thing, which is right here. I know I found like a third one or something, so I think we might just have to find an extra one. I'm just gonna cheese it right on out of this little thing. So I just wanted to record about maybe an hour of this before I went to bed. Because I worked 11 and a half hours today, and that really sucked. So that didn't leave much time to do anything. I worked from pretty much 7 in the morning to 6.25 at night, which is about 11 and a half hours. If I, if I did my math correctly, I was never a math guy, but, you no, know, thereabouts I worked 11 and a half hours today. And I predict I'm going to have to work about 10 hours tomorrow. So I'm trying to use my, uh, my system for me that allows me to pretty much work on stuff without even needing to be at my computer which uh, usually consists of setting stuff up to render out edit when I am asleep at work you know what have you wow someone definitely has a Scorpio turret and I got 10 experience from it so that's nice kill all these little freedom fighters, I guess, we really want. Now, I already know, know what happens coming up here. I don't even know if they'll try and kill us. Oh, I guess so. No mercy. No mercy when I'm around. Damn Hyperion Guard. I received 3D glasses. What the hell? Go, grenades! Die, Claptrap. I'm actually going to chill out behind this gun for a little bit, because I'm probably going to need this gun coming up here very shortly. Because we do need to kind of... We do need to kind of jump into the gates over there. And, you know, I, I don't know if I need... If I need the gun, per se, but eh, it'd be nice to have. But this is what happens. We get a little cutscene. Halt. Put down your weapons. Hyperion Corporation does not wish to harm them. Hyperion, super bad soldier. But at the same time, 
Kind of, not really, I guess, you could say. Let's get rid of this guy who's really starting to annoy me a little bit. Let's just try and wail on him from afar. We almost got the gun back. You know, it'll be... It'll be easy. You know, I'm actually enjoying myself a little bit more because things are a little bit more difficult. I actually am enjoying myself a little bit more. Because the first time I tried to kill this guy, it was like not even that many shots and it was over. Like it was pretty anticlimactic and it wasn't it wasn't exactly fun. Why are you shooting me, you stupid claptrap? What what intelligence is that? Why would you just shoot someone? I think we're still missing a thingamabob, which is probably like right over, yeah, right there. And now we have all of them, so I'm pretty much back at to back to where I was prior to starting over. Let's check out some of the weapons we got. Let's compare this to the terrible shotgun. No, why not? What's this? You now the fire rate goes up, and overall, you're not going to find a lot of uh, a lot of guns that are going to be too great. To be completely honest, it's usually why I just try to stick to to my own stuff. You know, the stuff that I've been carrying around for for a while, and people always want me to people always want me to switch up my weapons and. Generally, I just feel comfortable with what I have. I, mean, I don't feel like stopping every every three minutes to see if I have a better weapon to use that's slightly better than the last. So I generally just keep using the same weapons that I've been using. Though some people don't like that. I use what's most comfortable for me. And if that happens to annoy people for some reason, then so be it. Then so shall it be. I'm just running over this stuff and picking it up. So let's go ahead and turn in our first quest, and it should be fun times. I should probably sell all this junk first. Might as well get rid of all this stuff first. Boost up my money a little bit. Grenade mods, might as well get rid of these bad boys too. I don't know how many we've got. Shields, more shields. Blah blah blah, fire resistance, don't really care. Let's fill up our our ammo again. I'm surprised we have full for everything. All right, let's head back, talk to what's her face, and move on with our lives. Should be pretty fun. Yeah, I worked a buttload today, so I'm just trying to get what I can before I have to work a buttload tomorrow. And then I finally get a day off after an eight-day stint. The eight-day stint is almost over. I just have one more day to go, and then I finally get a fucking day off. Hello there, good friend. Oh, okay, we turn this in, blah, blah, blah. We got tan as her parts. Of course, she's still got a couple of screws loose. No shit. Bite for your right to part E. Get some more claptrap component. Oh, jeez, come really? We're already be. <laughs> okay, Tannis needs some more parts to complete her creation's infinite improbability drive. If you can't find any lying around, just rip them out of some claptrap spines. Isn't improbability drive from, uh... It's pretty much like... Oh. This is Mr. Blake, Senior Vice President in charge of mercenary relations and tourism for the Hyperion Corporation. You know. There are more missions available at the Hyperion oh. Tourist Information Board. I I did not know that walking up towards this would uh would completely shut him up, so I apologize for that. You know, I figured if I walked up and hit X, then yeah, of course, it would it would mess things up, but See new contact. That's pretty much what we got. New contact and uh, this thing. So we're gonna need a shit ton of these little parts. I don't even remember what I was talking about before. I know I was talking about work. Now I probably finally get a day off. But right now I'm just trying to get some game done, some gaming done. I'm trying to get that so I can uh, render some stuff out, upload it tomorrow at some point. But uh, whoa. Hello. 
Reminds me of a new guy. What are these guys doing just like chilling here at the beginning? Just let me die. These guys are just randomly chilling out here in the beginning. Like, I don't even remember seeing these guys before. What kind of shenanigans is this? Alright, so you know Probably never gonna fucking level up at this rate. The only, the only way I'm gonna ever level up. Whoa. The only way I'm ever gonna level up is through quest experience. And, uh. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a little bit few and far between, so. Whatever, just trying to get some gaming done in between terrible shifts of work. You know how it goes. Wow. He really has high hopes to kill me with that shotgun from that far away. Sort of like all these guys dropping stuff, or. Yes, they, it appears like all of them are going to drop stuff, so we're just on a massive collecting spree right now. That's that's what we're on. Now, it kind of sucks when things like this happen to pop up. Um, one, they're, they're just kind of rather boring. You're, you're pretty much just collecting a shit ton of one thing, which... No, I don't know, I don't know about you, but gets gets a tad... Head boring. Especially when not all of them appear to be dropping them. Maybe they are. Okay, let's throw this guy down. Go ahead and get rid of you. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. Get back to the gun! So I can heal. Oh my god. I don't even know if I, uh... Oh. Well, even if I die, I can... Yeah, maybe I can still fight for my life and kill one of these guys. There you go, second one. I can, I can pretty much just keep second-winding myself. I know there's a guy, like, right behind me. That's pretty funny. I totally forgot what the hotkey for heal was. I have no idea what it is. If there even is one. Yeah, I'm just so used to like fall three. No, oh, it's just jump in here and I should probably definitely look that up. It seems like I always forget one thing. It seems like I always forget one one very important thing. So right now I Oh, come on guys. Oh. Go gun, save the day. Please save the day. Thank you for saving the day so far. Like anything in front of me is gonna get fucked up. Just totally anything in front of me is getting getting worked. Or anything that's stupid enough to run past it and then just get mowed down. That's pretty fun. Oh, look at all this shit. There's tons of stuff over here. This SMG is less than stellar, though. Like, it's not the most powerful thing. We're about halfway there. We're, we're about halfway there. Damn, man. Some of these guys are just, like, exceptionally annoying. Maybe I should just bust out my own shotgun. That's totally not the shotgun, but 